There are a lot of questions surrounding chiropractic care. Is it safe? Is it helpful? Are they real doctors? Maybe you felt uncomfortable. Or maybe you felt nothing at all. Whatever. Call and make an appointment today. Gentle, comfortable, professional. Ryan Lee Chiropractic Center. All right, so that was Dr. Lee, Los Angeles chiropractor. Now, Nasty Nathaniel turned me on to this guy saying that, well, first he showed me the clip and asked me what I thought of it. And I was like, well, he spends half the time cracking necks and scaring his patients, it looks like, and then uh, humping them a little bit throughout and then sticking his finger in a woman's mouth. And I don't know, it's just a little weird. So Nasty Nathaniel went and told me a little bit about this guy and said that he's a Scientologist and he's elusive and he goes from location to location. No one ever knows where he is. And he even tried to find out where this guy was because I don't know if he wanted to do an audit to him or what, but he tried to find out where Ryan Lee Chiropractic and Wellness Center was and it just, it didn't work out. He got there and there was just uh, a hill and a dumpster and that was it. He even went to his old location and uh, there was a guy there that was, I guess, a different chiropractor and that didn't work out either. That wasn't him. So then he went and he messaged the uh, chiropractic center to try to find out where the current location is. Let me show you those messages. So a couple of days ago on August 2nd, Nathaniel wrote them, hello, is this the office of Dr. Lee located on Monterey Street? They said, yes, would you like to schedule an appointment? And Nathaniel said, is there any way I could come now? Are you open at this hour? I'm from out of town and I've heard so much about you. I would really like to get some work done on my back from you. And they said, Dr. Lee doesn't have availability for any patient today. He has a spot on Sunday if you wait. So he pushed it a little further and he said, Okay, is your address on Monterey Street? The reason I ask is because I just drove by and all I see is a hill and some trees. I was hoping to get in today and that's why I drove by. But I can extend my stay if you can get me in on Sunday. And they say, we are close by, but don't disclose the exact address until a patient is scheduled for security purposes. We can get you in at 11 on Sunday if that works for you. So just so you know, we require deposit to hold first time appointments. So that sounds a little sketchy. So at this point, Nathaniel just went in for the kill and said, is it because that Dr. Lee is a Scientologist? Is that why he's so secretive? Come on, dude. LR8 said that communication is the universal solvent. Why are you hiding? And they responded to that as Dr. Lee has moved from an office building to a residential neighborhood. And it is out of respect to that neighborhood that we keep traffic minimal. And Nathaniel responds, Dr. Lee is a bitch. Well, no, he says Dr. Lee is a Scientologist, but that's kind of how I took it. Now, as I understand it, there might be a few people out there that ask, why do you think Dr. Lee is a Scientologist? For that question, I don't really have the answer. I don't really know much about Scientology. So I'm going to let Nasty Nathaniel answer that one. Now, some of you naysayers may be wondering, how does he know that Dr. Lee is actually a Scientologist. Well, if you look at this photo here, you'll see some framed certificates hanging up on the wall. These are actually Scientology certificates. To the left, you see one that actually has the Scientology logo on it. To the right, you'll see one that says OT1. In Scientology lingo, OT stands for Operating Thetan. That means that Dr. Lee has completed course one of the OT level courses. Dr. Lee is slowly but surely moving up the bridge. That means he's one step closer to becoming certifiably crazy. All right, thank you, Nathaniel. I don't think I could have said it better myself. Let's jump into the investigation. So in looking at their website, I scroll down to the bottom and I thought the name was Ryan Lee Chiropractic, but at the very bottom, we see RLCC Incorporated. You see this right here. They got to update their copyrights. It's 2020, but by RLCC Incorporated. So sometimes the most simple answer is just to go over to the Secretary of State and see if there are any other addresses. So let's do that now. 
Now, the California Secretary of State didn't show much here when it came to the actual principal address. I mean, it did show a principal address in Rolling Hills, California, but it showed uh, Rolling Hills Estates, excuse me, it showed Ronald Allen Lenders, and it showed him as the registered agent. I took a look at the property, and I'm not going to show it because I don't really think it has anything to do with the business. I think it's just for the registered agent, but it's definitely not the principal address, in my opinion. So the search continues. So I took a look at the Ryan Lee Chiropractic and Wellness Center page on Facebook. It hasn't been updated in a few years now. And the first picture I saw was this 6456 address. Now, Nasty Nathaniel had gone to this address and another chiropractor came out, was definitely not uh, Ryan Lee. And from what I hear, when Nathaniel asked this chiropractor if he ever heard of Ryan Lee, the guy kind of chuckled and said that he's not here. And there wasn't any other information. Uh, not to say the guy was rude or anything, from what I hear, he's actually pretty friendly, but he said, no, Ryan Lee is not here. So to me, that says maybe that there's bad blood there or just the way he responded, the way I understood it, but I don't know for sure. Let's check out some of the other pictures. Uh, here is Ryan Lee, but this is September 9th, 2022. So it has been a couple of years. Uh, but that's him standing in front of the business. And that doesn't even mean he was there at the time with just him standing in front of it. Uh, we have a random picture here. Uh, there's that address again, that's 2020. And yeah, here's another one. Maybe this is presumably in that address, uh, the waiting room. Again, 2020, uh, looks like a little nice waiting room there. Uh, let's see here. There's uh, definitely some staff there. I see a couple women. And what's this there? Happy holidays from Kuwait with Dr. Zaid and Sami World Cup soccer star. All right. So he has a certain clientele. Um, I don't know if it's all people that are uh, that do really value their privacy because of their positions or uh, this one is USC Athletes Unite. All right. So we're going back in dates here. I'm not really seeing anything about his current office. Let's move on. Now, I found this email, ryanleedc at whatever.com, and I found this on a couple different occasions, so I thought there might be some decent stuff on it, but there's really nothing. There's uh, a password from a combo list, and there's MGM Resorts, and that's it. So we don't really have any information off the email. This was with a breach search with uh, Snuff Space, by the way. All right, so then I did my favorite username search of all time, What's my name dot app. And this is a great username search site. What you want to do is put in the username. And then when it comes to category filters, you want to click on that and click on all. Uh, there's all that's the default, but exclude NSFW, which is not safe for work. And then there's just all. So you want to do all because you want all the juicy stuff if there is juicy stuff to get. Now, with this username, the Ryan Lee DC, I didn't find much. I'll go through some of the things I found real quick, but there was Gab. Internet Archive, which didn't lead to anything. PayPal, Smul, YouTube, and uh, the YouTube actually led to something interesting, but we'll get to that. So we'll just do a speed run through these sites until we get to YouTube. This is Gab, and there's really nothing on it. It says zero Gabs, zero followers, three following. I wonder who's following, actually. Oh, we can't get to that without logging in. All right, so let's go to the next one. So that's definitely him in the picture. Ryan Lee Chiropractic Center. Ryan Lee, D.C., Los Angeles, California, doctor of chiropractic, lover of cats and, or no, cars, not cats. I don't know if he likes cats, but loves cars and sports. This is Smule, let's music together. Zero recordings, zero followings, eight followers. Can we see the followers on this one? Uh, so we got Shannon Burwell, Jennifer Hirsch, Yes to Yang, and just goes through here. So, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'd recognize anyone, but I don't know, maybe Nasa Nathaniel can let me know if these are popular uh, Scientology individuals, but I got a few people there. So I found this on YouTube. This was from three years ago. I did watch the video to see if there was anything, like it showed more than just this fire pit that he was making, uh, but showed the actual yard and property. And unfortunately it didn't. So I just kind of went through here and he created this thing. Um, in the comments, I checked this out. There's really nothing there. Thanks for the insights and people talk about the, uh, uh, PL 500 and the issues with the cement and everything. So, um, and I looked at the, uh, you know, the description as well, how to 
build a fire pit using bricks in your backyard. So there was really nothing there. But clicking on his channel, you can see here, it brings us here and you can see there's only that one upload. There's a created playlist, there's videos, and yeah, there's really nothing there. I'll go to more and there's nothing that comes up for his email or anything like that. So uh, unfortunately, there's not much information on this YouTube channel of his and the oldest video is from three years ago. It then struck me that if this guy is a chiropractor, there's probably going to be a license for this. And I know every state publishes different information. Sometimes you only get a little. Sometimes, like Colorado on a license search, you get a lot of information and potentially the person's employer. If they're not the employer, it might say where they work. Uh, but you get a lot of information. On this search with California, we have some information. So we do have an address here. And it shows that this address is on Pinecrest Drive. I won't show the whole address, but it says it's on Pinecrest Drive in Los Angeles. And this appears to be, from at least what I found, this appears to be pretty close to the address that is actually listed for the business. So let's check that out in Google Maps Street View. And it's this little neighborhood. We have uh, uh, the street. It's pretty narrow street, actually. But uh, yeah, so here's the address. And if we zoom in here, you can see that there's a little box here to notify the business or the person you're here. It looks like it's a residential. The problem with California is we don't get to just do an assessor's office search like with most states or registry of deeds and find out who lives there. There are ways to do it, but it's a pain in the butt. Um, and as you can see, it's clearly gated. So there's definitely privacy for people. Let's go up the road a little bit and we can see this here. So uh, this does look residential, like I said, but it could very easily just be commercially zoned as well or part of it could be commercially zoned. Um, scroll up here and yeah, so we don't get a really great view of the trees and I can't go too far up. So I do see this. Um, yeah, and the, they did say because of the neighbors and residential. So I think this is it. I mean, you're not going to lie to the licensing board because if there's deception there and you get your license revoked, I mean, that's the end of your business right there. So you can play around with the secretary of state a little bit. Obviously you can play around with your website but you just can't do that with the licensing division. So I'm willing to bet that this is in fact the correct address here for uh, the good doctor. Anyway, I'll leave you with that. Let me know what you think about this guy in the comments. Was the video creepy? Why did he stick his finger in that woman's mouth? Um, do you think this is his address? Any questions, let me know and I'll see you guys on the next one.